All right, good morning, y'all. Wiggle here. Monday, middle of June. We're working on the potato patch. So what we're doing is weeding it. It's the first time. This is all really super loose dirt. So grass is not really the issue. It is these tall, stocky weeds that have come up. So what I'm doing is basically creating row, finding the old row. Like you can see where all that spiny amaranth is. That's the old row, so we're pulling this stuff out and throwing it right back down and mulching it. So it's going to be choking out the, the shorter stuff we don't want growing in the rows. And it's going to be providing nitrogen and uh, moisture retention. So you can hate these weeds, but they're a free source of nitrogen and a free source of mulch. It all grows right in place. You can just reuse it. Just a matter of how you look at it. This stuff's going to seed, so we definitely got to get it out. The spiny amaranth, we are fighting that stuff constantly. However, it is a deep rooted nutrient accumulator. And it is our friend as long as we manage it. If we let it get out of hand, it will be our enemy for many years. I let Michael know to get, do what, show him what I did for you. So, since we're out here in Tick and Chicker country, we are wearing, I'm actually wearing plastic pants, long boots. The spiny amaranth has lots of thorns in it. Spiny amaranth. <laughs> so we are wearing welding gauntlets to help prevent getting poked so much. And hopefully also keep some bugs off. I sprayed off on our boots. I won't put it on my skin. I don't even like it regular, on my regular clothes, but I sprayed off on my boots. And then I used a natural repellent on my sleeves and pants, cuff, pant cuff. Try to keep the bugs off of us so we don't get eaten up. So we're all protected and ready to keep doing the, the plan here. I am sorting the fodder out. If it's a ragweed or lamb's quarter or red root amaranth, pig, pigweed, pig root, red root, whatever you want to call it, it's the amaranth without the spines. I'm throwing that over there too. We're going to toss all that off to the side and feed it to the, to the cattle. So the stuff we're throwing down is like pokeweed, local weed, spiny amaranth is edible, but I'm just not going to bother dragging all that out of here. I'm only going to drag out the premium. The ragweed is premium. The lamb's quarter is premium. Now this stuff, you can see I got Bermuda in here. This local weed, uh, nasty, nasty, sticky stuff. Just pull it out. Everything's loose, so I'm just laying it out behind me and uh, mulching, trying to mulch back this grass. I'm not getting too excited about it because we'll be harvesting potatoes. Then I'll get in here and just weed eat it or mow it or whatever. Maybe even let the cows in to clean it up. So, and it's, so it comes out real easy because this is all weak. I will notice that the these plants, especially like you go to pull out the land squatter like this, it'll snap off. And that's just part of its strategy. That's the part you would eat anyway. And the stem stays and then it branches out. And part of its survival strategy is it has a tough stem, but then it has a tender tip. So you can rip the tender tip off and it leaves the stalk. So we're going to get busy mulching and gathering fodder and weeding all at the same time. So weeds are a pain, but they're also our friend and they are also a valuable resource in this time of expensive nitrogen fertilizer you can do something a little different and get free fertilizer just like this so, and who knows how many pounds of nitrogen that that is so, okay that's it for now i'll show you a picture when we finish this we're going to try to finish this one patch at least today should be pretty easy